Hey there, Alex here from Build, Grow, Scale. I'm a revenue optimization expert and I help e-commerce businesses grow and scale through optimizing their store. And in this training, we're going to talk about the best color for your add to cart button that you can choose so it converts the highest. Would you like to know what that magical color is? Cool. Let's begin. So everybody wants to know what the best color is, right? And the problem is it's just so frustrating to figure it out with all of these gurus teaching different things, right? One guru says green is the best color. The next guru says red is the best color. A third one says it's an orange. And the fourth one says it's a blue one and it never ends, right? It's just so frustrating, right? Don't you just hate it when you can't find an answer to something? Me too. I've definitely been there and I feel your pain. You're definitely not alone. In fact, this is one of the most frequently asked questions in our Ecom Insider Mastermind. Our, student, our students ask us all the time, what color should my add to cart button be? And once we give them the answer, we see a light bulb go off every time and they immediately see an uplift in their numbers after applying this. Okay. So that's why Right now, I'm going to give you this answer too. So you never again need to wonder what color your add to cart button should be. And never again, you need to get frustrated trying to figure it out. Sounds good? Cool. Let's get into it. So there's one principle that you need to remember when it comes to the color of your add to cart buttons. And it is this visual hierarchy of focus. In psychology, visual hierarchy of focus refers to the visual pattern, the visual order of the elements on your website, whereas some elements tend to stand out from the rest, okay? Or in other words, some elements tend to attract more attention to them, and in that way, suggesting a hierarchy of importance. What that means is the more prominent an element is on your website and the more it stands out, the more important it will seem in the eyes of your visitors. Translated in terms of your add to cart button, this means that the more visually obvious your add to cart button is and the more it stands out from the rest of the page, the more it will draw your visitor's attention and the more they will click it, right? Which is exactly what we want. Adding products to their cart is the number one action that you want your visitors to take on your product pages. So the more your add to cart button stands out, the more people will click it. And as a result, you'll make more money. Does that make sense? Cool. Now, here's the answer you've been waiting for. The best color that you can choose for your add to cart buttons so they convert the highest, okay? Which is this color? Drum roll. It can be any color as long as it's the most prominent color on that page. Just like I talked about so far, the visual hierarchy of focus. As long as we keep that in mind and your add to cart button stands out the most on the product pages, you're good to go, okay? Now, generally speaking, this color should be a unique color and it will depend on the color scheme of your brand, obviously, right? So it should be a, a unique color, meaning that uh, you don't have this color present almost anywhere on your website, right? For example, let's say that your color, color scheme, I mean, of your brand is generally green with a lot of green shades then you shouldn't pick a green color for add the car button because it's kind of going to blend in with the rest of the page and it's not going to stand out, okay? What you want to do is pick a darker color in this case so that the contrast is higher. Here's the rule of thumb. The higher the contrast between the color of your add to car button and the rest of the website, especially the actual product page, the surroundings of the button, the better it will be, okay? So obviously if you have like, uh, let's say light gray, the background of your page is light gray and you choose a little bit darker gray button, that's not a good idea because the contrast there is very low and it will not stand out at all. In that case, you wanna choose the darkest one and that case will be black. Does that make sense? So don't waste any time split testing color buttons, okay? It's just a waste of your time. You're much better off testing something that will cause a behavior change, more complicated test than just a simple button. Just go and pick a color that's like unique on your website and stands out the most from that page. It's the most visually prominent and you'll be good to go, okay? Now, even though I just explained this principle, 
I have one more thing that I need to mention because it's really important, okay? And I want to show it to you in a second here. And it's this. Whatever you do, do not ever use ghost buttons. I repeat, do not ever use ghost buttons on your website. And here's what I mean. Do you see this button? Can you actually see it? Yeah, I know. So these are buttons that basically are the same color as the color of the page, right? The page is white and the button is white. And they seem fancy and cool, but they're completely useless because nobody, nobody can see these, okay? In this case, what they should have done is have this button to be black, okay? That's gonna be the most prominent element on this page, okay? And after they, especially after they remove these social sharing icons, which shouldn't be there, which by the way, you can actually see uh, see me talk more about these guys in another video, but this button should be black, okay? And that's how it will stand out more, the most on this page. And it's obvious, okay? People don't need to look for it. Having ghost buttons on your website is like hiding your cash register in a retail store in the bathroom, okay? It's just not gonna work. You will lose a ton of sales because nobody will find the cash register in the bathroom, okay? It's the same thing with this button. If your visitors need to look for your button, you've already lost them, okay? So if you wanna lose money and if you hate money, use ghost buttons. But if you wanna make more money, then make sure that your button is the most prominent element on that page, okay? I hope I brought this point home for you. Now, one more thing to mention about the color of your buttons before we wrap up here. You want to match all of your direct uh, calls to action in your store's funnel to be the same color. Now, what do I mean by this? Your add to cart button, your checkout button, your uh, continue to shipping button and all of the other buttons in your checkout, depending on how many steps your checkout has, all the way until a customer places an order, they should all be the same color for consistency's sake, okay? If they're not, if they're all different colors or two or three different colors, that will cause a disconnect in your visitor's mind and it will cause them to think, which is never a good idea. You want the shopping experience to go like as fast as possible and as intuitive with the least amount of thinking, okay? So let's recap real quick. What do we know so far? Well, number one, remember the visual hierarchy of focus principle. If something visually stands out, it will draw your visitor's attention, okay? For better or for worse. Number two, it doesn't matter which color, which color you choose for add to cart button, as long as it's the most prominent one on the page and it visually stands out the most from the rest of the page, okay? Number three, no matter what, don't use ghost buttons on your website, okay? Whether it's add to cart on any other button. If you want people to press a button, don't use ghost buttons, simple as that. And number four, match all of your primary calls to action, all of your primary buttons on your website to be the same color for consistency's sake, okay? Now, what I want you to do is go to your website and pick a color if you don't have already, choose a color that's unique to your website and visually stands out the most from the rest of your website and make your add to cart button that color. And after you do that, change the rest of the primary buttons of your funnel to match that color for consistency's sake, okay? If you do this right, you'll make a lot more money. If you don't do this right, you will of course lose money. And as always, the choice is yours, okay? So that's a wrap. That's it for this video. If you liked it, stay tuned because there will be a lot more coming where this one came from. And if you want to work with us, just go to workwithbgs.com and just fill out a small form and we're going to get on a phone and see how we can help you. Okay. That's workwithbgs.com. Until next time, have a good one and I'll see you soon. Bye.